score. Isn't it awesome? You take a boring game, you add gore, instant shock value. Nothing communicates damage like a classic blood splatter, such a simple mechanic. Well, not that simple if you're on Roblox. My game studio, Runker, got this message in January from Roblox admins. I had just uploaded a video promoting our game, and while it was getting hundreds of thousands of views, the game was locked by Roblox staff because of gore content, extreme blood. Wow. Extreme blood? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're right. Just shut it down. We can't risk letting kids see blood. Blood fest. Wave survival like no other. Oh, but Phantom Forces is okay. An Apocalypse Rising, that's fine. Oh, Gladiator's okay. Counter blocks, never mind the Wild West. Which is part of the egg hunt. We ended up removing the blood stains, and they still wouldn't reopen our game. We were not able to open your game, remove the blood spraying when people are wounded or dead. That's what they said. We had to turn off the little damage indicator where a blood cloud would appear when you get shot. That's exactly how APOC and PF, how the Wild West does it. And yet, our group was singled out, coincidentally, right after I post this video. And the thing is, when you upload a video, the first five days that it's live, that's when it gets the most views. If you look at the analytics on this, you can see the first five days, it gets more views than it gets the rest of the month. This is when the game went offline. This is when it went back up. Can you see why I'm frustrated? I talked to customer service, I said, can this please be reconsidered? Roblox allows the same type of blood spraying in all these other games. It seems unfair that only we can't have this feature. So Hobbs replied, yeah, I'm sure that's his name, Hobbs. Is he related to Hal by any chance? Hobbs basically says my email isn't associated with the account that owns the game, so he can't talk to me about it. But it's a group game. I'm a developer in the group. I have studio access. I've been updating this game for six months. And you're telling me you can't do your job because I'm not the group owner? The plan was to upload the video and enjoy a spike in traffic to our game. I could have made hundreds of dollars that we would have invested back into the community. Because when we make Robux off of Runker, we use that to pay builders. We don't buy Teslas. We don't move to California. We hire people. We contribute to the economy. And we're getting fucked over gore content. When other developers are making games where you could saw people in half with chainsaws or decapitate people with blood squirting out of their necks or incinerate people alive with flamethrowers or literally kill yourself over and over to get points to spend on cooler ways to kill yourself. So thank you, Roblox moderation team, for making our game a much safer place for children to drive over landmines and jump off buildings in the dumpsters and get soccer kicked by a T-posing Shrek. I'm glad you could take a break from looking at furry porn. That's what I call core values. That's what I call powering imagination. Uh so anyways, we remove all the blood and we get our game back up and we run an ad. If you don't know already, Roblox lets users create ads that show up on the website provided they follow the rules and you pay enough money. So this is the ad that we ran. Want to see something hot? No. Whoops, you see that? That's the incinerator. It's a staple of our game. This ad was approved, meaning a moderator working for Roblox saw it, gave it the okay, and then let us spend 10,000 Robux on it, and then it gets deleted. Oh, sorry. Oh, no refunds. Never mind. 10,000 Robux costs, uh, let me see, a hundred dollars. So I emailed them. Of course I fucking emailed them. What do you expect me to do? Go out and protest? I send them an email. I say, today I spent 10,000 Robux on an ad, blah, blah, blah. I think this is unfair because the ad was approved and only taken down after we spent 10K Robux. If you can give my group a refund, I would be very grateful. And then... We have reviewed the account. Not my account. And your game is not appropriate. What? We just went over this. This isn't about the game, this is about the ad. I said user ad. The word game isn't even in my email. 
And why do you think this is my account? This is the account that owns to the group. It would have been real convenient if they made that mistake with my last email. And Kyle? You really expect me to believe this was sent by a Kyle? That's a really white sounding name for someone who responded at 4.40 a.m. Pacific time on behalf of a company that outsources people from India to handle their emails. Here's a question. As diverse of a company as they are, why does Roblox feel like they have to lie and give their support team white sounding names to respond to emails with? Like Kyle or Hobbs. Why can't they just be honest and say, this email was automatically generated by our customer support software? Probably because they're the kind of company that rip people off for $100. You know, to rip people off that are trying to improve their platform and make them more money. Because in the end, Roblox isn't just hurting people like me by doing this, they're hurting themselves. Think about all the Robux that could have been spent on my game had it not have been closed. 30% of that would have gone to Roblox. But nope, extreme blood.